Sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? And what's up, my Mad 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, I want to say thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, it is time. It is time for a franchise mode. Uh, official franchise mode start with the NFL season. Man, I really enjoyed that game between the Baltimore Ravens and the uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs. It really brought football game back, NFL football back, man. It's, it's, it's back. It's here. It's re we're ready to go. And we are ready to go in our Washington Commanders franchise mode. But guys, I want you to look at our NFC East standings. They got the Dallas Cowboys at the top again. Then come Philadelphia, New York Giants, and our Washington Commanders coming up in last place. When they look at predictions, that's basically a prediction of how they see or a prediction of how who the better teams are in the NFC East. But it's all good because we're going to shock the world, baby. We're going to shock the world and show people who we all about. We got new ownership. We got new players. We got new coaches, man. We got we, 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 This is the, our, our foundation right now. Uh, we ain't going to wait three to five years. We're going to come out strong this year, okay? And what I want to do, guys, before we actually start this franchise, because we just received a brand new roster update brand new roster update man so let's get it guys let's go ahead and look at our depth chart you know before we set our goals and look at storylines and all that stuff man let's go look at our depth chart before we uh going going against these daggone Tampa Bay Buccaneers all right here we go Let's start with our quarterback, Shaden Daniels, coming in at a 74 overall. And I promise you, that's going to increase as the year goes on, baby. He's an overall 74. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're not even going over his ratings because all that stuff is going to change. It's going to get better. As a rookie, those are pretty good ratings. Um, uh, Marcus Mariota is our backup. And then uh, Jeff Driscoll, I thought played great in preseason. It's going to be our third string quarterback. Uh, he got he, he's got a good arm. He's got he's got legs. He can scramble. Um, but yeah, man, I like him, guys. Even though he's been in the league for seven years, um, yeah, he's a trade target veteran. But I think he's got a home here in Washington. Um, how old is uh, uh, he's six four two thirty five. Um, let's see, he's 20, he's 31 years old. Marcus Mariota is 30 years, I remember him coming out of Oregon. All right, guys, let's go to our halfbacks. Austin Eckler coming over from the LA Chargers, man. He's an overall 81 and I like it. We got Brian Robinson coming up behind him and we got uh, Jerry McNichols, man. This guy got eight years in the league, supposedly he's a pretty good player. Um, he's only 28, so we, we got a nice roster, guys. We don't have a fullback. We normally use our tail, uh, t one of our tight ends, usually our, our number two tight end or number three tight end. Terry McLaurin is our top wide receiver. We got Noah Brown, man, just coming in. Um, you see he's 6'2", 215 from Ohio State, and he's got 89 speed. McLaurin has 93. Then we got Jamison Crowder. He's got 87 speed, man. He's a uh, 31 years old. He's an overall 75. Then we got Omar Zaka. I guess I can't pronounce his name, guys. Now our wide receiver receivers got speed, guys. Then we got Deami Brown, and I already did depth chart order. This is how I want them to play out in order. Um, then we got uh, Byron Pringle. I think he's he played pretty good last year. Um, he came in. He's always making plays, man. So he's going to be exciting to see. And then we got the rookie, rookie Luke McCaffrey, his brother, you know, Christian McCaffrey with the 49ers. 
Uh, he, he actually played high quarterback in high school, but then went to college as a wide receiver. He's got a 90 speed, and he's a 70 overall, guys. Um, he's a rookie from Rice, 6'2", 198. That's a nice size. I didn't know he was that big. All right, then at tight end, we have Zach Ertz, the veteran Zach Ertz, age 33, 76 overall. I believe his, his overall is going to go up also. Um, this guy's a pro bowler, man. He's a pro bowler. Uh, yeah, he got 81 speed. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Uh, then we got the rookie. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. then we got the rookie Ben Sonot, man, from Kansas State. Another beast. He's obviously going to get a lot of playing time, guys. When we go two tight end sets, this guy's a beast, man. He's a rookie, but he's got hands. He can run. He's strong. Um, he's 6'4", 250. Then my man John Bates is one of our better blocking tight ends, man. This guy can do it all. He can catch. He can run. He can block. He do whatever you tell him to do, man. I think his overall is underrated. I think he's he's probably an 84, 85 type guy. <clears throat> but, you know, he's not really getting a lot of playing time. But I think he's going to earn it. I think he's going to earn it, guys, based on how he plays, all right? Then at left tackle, we got Brandon Coleman. Um, a rookie from TCU, great, great prospect, man, 6'5", 330. You know that left tackle, man, he's got to be strong. He's a big boy, so he's got to protect uh, Jake Daniels, man. And then we got Cornelius Lucas the third. he's 6'8". He's supposed to be starting at that size. But, you know, let's look at his, uh, uh, let's look at his, uh, uh, let's see, his agility is 60, guys. See that? He probably can't get out uh, his uh, pass block. At 77, uh, pass block power 79, pass block finesse 75, run block 73. He's so big, guys. He's supposed to be doing a lot more than that. But, he, you know, he's so big, he probably just don't have quick feet. He doesn't have quick feet. You see he's only got a 60 agility. So that, that's his only mishap, probably, guys. What's his strength? 83 strength. Yeah, that's not bad. You know, he's a big dude. 6'8", 327. Woo, man, that's a big dude. All right, left guard. We're coming in with Nick Allegretti. I think he came in from Kansas City Chiefs, 6'4", 310. He's an overall, uh, what is his overall? Overall 66. I think that's going to go up too, guys. Um, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then we got Chris Paul. 6'4", 324 from Tulsa, experienced two years. So we got a young line, guys. Uh, yeah, we got a young line, except Allegretti, he's 28. Uh, at center, we have Tyler Bias. I think he came from Dallas, if I'm not mistaken. Either Dallas or Kansas City, I'm not really sure. 6'3", uh, 316, that's a nice size for a center. Uh, and then his backup, Dietier, Michael Dietier. <laughs> Dietier. Just looking at our roster, guys, so you can get for me what's going on. Um, Sam Cosby just signed a brand new four-year deal. Got paid. He's only 25. He's overall 88, guys. Um, he's going to be solid for us at right guard. He he came into the league as a rookie um, two years ago, and he, he was playing right tackle. But they thought he would be more effective as a guard. Right tackle, we have Andrew Andrew Wiley. Now, this guy came from Kansas City, man, and I don't like him. He's probably the weakest leak on this offensive line. I, I, I'm sorry. I just don't like this guy. He's not good at all. He just happened to be the best we have. But I'm pretty sure they're going to look to replace him because he's not going to play well. I, I can guarantee he's not going to play well, guys. Not that I'm hating on him, guys. Look, his overalls are 78. Been in the league for seven years. Come on, y'all. Left end, we have Dante Fowler. I think he came from Dallas, man. Nine years experience, 6'3", 261, left end. He's only 30 years old, overall 75. He's going he's gonna to wreak havoc, guys. Over on the right-hand side, we got Dorian Armstrong. I think he came from Dallas also, 6'4", 255. Age 27, he's overall 77. I think all these numbers are going to grow up, man. Cleland Farrell. Another nice right in. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. D tackle, y'all know Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, uh, Jarris Newton. He's a rookie. 
Um, he he's rehabilitating right now, um, but they think he's going to be healthy and ready to go. He's another star man out of Illinois. Left outside linebacker, pop in, pop in, pop in, pop in. Oh, let's go back. Let's try it again. Pop in, pop in. Wait a minute, we don't have a left outside linebacker. Let's go to middle linebacker. Okay, y'all know Bobby Wagner, baby. He's 34. He still, he still got, he still good. He's still good. He's probably got another three years in him. He's an overall. He got 84 speed. Overall 87. Love it, love it. Jamin Davis is our backup, but he's Jamin Davis is actually playing our right outside line. No, Frankie Lou is our right outside linebacker. Now this boy's a beast. He is a beast. They got him as overall 82. That's about right. Probably going to go up higher. Um, at corner. Um, cornerback is uh, Benjamin St. Juice. He's going to lock down that corner, man. He's a young guy. He's on, like, as you can see, guys, he is 26 years old, overall 78. Uh, let's see. Good 91 speed, 92 acceleration. Um, awareness 77, play rec 77. He's got to get a little better with that. At free safety, we got Jared Jer, uh, Jer, Martin. Woo, excuse me guys and then Percy Butler at strong safety we got Jeremy Chen 6'3 um, he's an overall 78 we got Derek Forrest Derek Forrest is a beast also guys so we got a good depth in our um, secondary Jeremy Reeves is pretty good um, and that's it guys we don't have a practice squad yet obviously oh yeah we do Oh yeah, okay, this is the real, this is the real uh, roster practice squad, okay. Oh, these guys, let's see. I thought uh, Chris Rodriguez was going to make the 53-man uh, roster. He got talent, guys. I'm pretty sure they're not going to let him go. And somebody may steal him off the practice squad. Uh, Mitch Tinsley, Cole Turner. I like Cole Turner as a tight end. Um, and just not enough space for him, guys. Um, but I think he has a lot of talent. I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm glad they kept him. All right, all right. There is our roster, guys. We are going in strong. We might not look strong, but we're going in strong. All right, now I wanted you guys to get familiar with our depth chart. So when I'm talking about it, when we get on the field, you guys are going to know what's up. As you can see, our first game is against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Raymond James Stadium. We normally play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers pretty well. All right, guys, we're going to get this thing rocking and popping. This is our brand new official franchise mode start. Episode 1, I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.